Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review, and hello and welcome to the next part of Joey Logano Week. Today we're going to take a look at his red shell pencil oil forward from 2015. Let's take a quick look at the box shot, number 22, Joey Logano, Team Penske, picture of Logano right there. Joey Logano, another picture of Logano, Lionel Racing, they made a total of 637 of these things, 22, Team Penske, Joey Logano, 22, Platinum Series, 15, copyright and such on the bottom, all that good stuff. Let's get down to the car itself. It is a fantastic looking car. This was raced in the Coca Cola 600 in 2015. Shell was kind of going for like a having their Indy car and Cup car, NASCAR just kind of like sort of match colors, I guess, because the Indy cars are usually red and white. So I think that's what they they said they were going for. Would have liked if they fully changed the paint scheme to kind of match, either add scallops to the Indy car or change this to the Indy car paint scheme, but it's still made for a beautiful looking car. Let's do a quick 360 of the car. It's one of those cars people didn't think was getting made. Because it just kind of like, it ran in like the Coke 600. And it wasn't until like July when it just randomly went up for pre-order one day. Just like, oh, hey, that's a cool car. <laughs> so, I like when Lionel just actually goes back and offers something they didn't offer. There's something about the color red on this car with the bright white that just really works. I would love to see this car back. Brad Keselowski ran these sort of similar colors in the scale of paint scheme that same year with Avea, Avaya. They were like some company that was only on his car once, but it was the kind of red with white scallops. I don't think it was the exact same red, though. Well, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Shell Pennzoil, Ford Fusion number 22. Down the side, you have Shell Pennzoil. You've got Auto Trader and Snap-on and Discount Tire and Triple A. On the C post, you have AutoZone and SKF. And on the B post, you have Ford, HP, PPG, Mazak, Coca-Cola, and Hertz. Have the one winner sticker from the Daytona 500. On the back, you have Shell Pennzoil, 22 crew, and number 22. Got Ford down there. Got Shell Pennzoil again on the deck lid. This is number 451. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. See that it says Shell Pennzoil and powered by Ford. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid, which is very stiff. You can see your typical fuel cell and such back there. The roof flaps do in fact open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. This car has some like QC issues, which is kind of weird, and it's like been on most of them that I've seen. Like you can see like right there that like some of the black is missing from the bottom of the B post. It's coming across, but you see this like line isn't straight down here. You see it like Bounce, it like goes down slightly right there and then it curves down towards the edge. I don't know. It does have the inaccurate front end design as usual. <laughs> if you took a look at the 2015 Logano car video I did, you see that it actually have it where it curved in. This one has it curved down. You see that like the, this piece up here is not straight either. Like it's like, I don't know what it is, but that little like black decal over this like vent just is not straight either. Why Lionel has like some cars that have random issues and other cars are flawless. There you can see there's even like a piece of the auto trader decal missing. <laughs> I don't know. One flaw in a ton of cars, like half the cars I get now is like you see that on this back right corner that the design doesn't line up perfectly. <laughs> but whatever. It's a nice paint scheme. This does actually have all like the salute stuffs. Got see you have the support the troops tires, got the NASCAR salutes logo, has the patriotic windshield banner, all that good stuff. That's a nice touch. Here it is next to the 164 scale, which was made on the EL mold, so it looks great. Like I said, this is kind of just a one-off paint scheme, just kind of a cool sort of patriotic look at the car. I'm definitely glad it got made and would like to see this paint scheme back someday. But if you want this car, it's a little bit hard to find, but not too bad. But I think that's all I to say. This has been a review of Joey Logano's Red Shell Pennzoil Ford from 2015. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.